and uh, Reborn decided to bug out a little bit with the team profiles. Uh, Courier, where are you? Where are you going, Mr. Courier? Whose items are these? What's Chessies? So, uh, oh, did right. he pork or did he just walk? Off? I'm I'm not sure. I did. I guess he. I guess he TP'd. Well, I, I mean, he did. Uh, he didn't words, so I imagine maybe he just ran out really fast. Yeah. Rex is already scouting them out. He already has into Brady inside. Oh, one liquid. Oh, Mouth two, he's mind show. control. Oh, did they, they? Yeah, they're pinging it out now. They, they saw him for sure. I know he's there. Uh, top rune looks like liquid. Maybe trying to contest this with gyro, rocket barrage. The crush is pretty good. I've got Omni with the purification bomb as well, but they seem a little bit timid here. There's a, there's a sentry placed by the Radiant already, making damn sure there's nothing coming out of Liquid to stop this. And Chessie has gone for the... Wait a second, he's gone for a web on each rune spot. Yeah. He's rotated bottom after he saw the movement. He's gonna get stunned here, the rune. I thought I should be able to get it. There we go. Nicely played by Mind Control. So... Fata, Viper mid, We've got my control solo off lane. Jerax, of course, the bounty roaming between lanes. And there's double melee support, Kuroki on the Omni Knight. And his role in the laning phase is going to be a little more special because he can't zone, he can't really harass, and with a Juggernaut and Winter Wyvern up at top lane, Matumba Man isn't going to have an easy time farming. Yeah, mid, Swindle's already skilled up the Necromastery. Um, I guess he, he wanted to fight the Viper to an extent, but I'm not sure how well it's going to go. Yeah, you just see the positioning of this Viper already. Two last hits up on the high ground, zoning out completely. And Swindle Shadow Fiend. A little bit of a rough time here up at top though. The dive is there. I'll just catch the tail end of that as Gyro. I knew he would have a rough time, but with the charge into Arctic Burn, giving such a great setup, Broodmother dies the bottom lane, and all of a sudden, people are dying across the map. Yeah, I'm surprised that can't get bottom happen. Uh, I did expect the Trialing to eventually get a kill, but I didn't think it would be so fast against Omni. And looking at Kuro right now, he actually skilled. Not sure if there would have been enough of a turnaround from Patient, but at the very least, maybe Repel might have saved them from the slow coming out of the Fiverr. But there is a charge coming in at mid now. This is just harassment against Fada. So get some extra CS. Well, that's the level 2 raise up now, but at one point in Corrosive Skin, not taking a massive amount of damage, and Z Freak swindles. A little bit of trouble here. And Sparta just turns around and whacks him a couple of times with the poison attack. Chessie down the bot lane, this Broodmother. And a 1v1 against Slardar. Now, the Slardar with boots and a mango already. Stout shields up. He shouldn't have an awful time here. Like, you know, Broodmother, once she gets to level 5, then things start to get super annoying. But dealing with the Spiderling is it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I, well, I just wonder if you go for a poor man shield even on mind control. Sure, but uh, he is again with this one, definitely can go for that option. Just with that first blood, he's gonna not, not the first, but that first kill advantage, uh, he's gonna have a relatively easier time. It is a six with a stealth shield EMS, so he's not gonna tank too much. But Chessie's doing a pretty good job with the harassment here. I'm gonna go on Chessie, I think. Oh, but the they're gonna get slow him. him. Have they got this kill? Yeah. One more hit from mind control, and they secure it. Jurax with a dust, very well timed. Mm -hmm. Dust, Orb of Venom, Janata. Blue Mother's not going anywhere. And the charge from Zephyr not going to accomplish anything. Fata once again realizing that supports have, have left mid lane back to top and bot. And it's in oh, this Swindle! One one vacuum he's again, dead. he's dead. You're right, the final poison attack from Fata will secure it. You failed. Yes, it he, I think he knew that there was, a, there was a high ground ward, even though they had the sentry place to semi see the bounty hunter slash uh, find somebody. But hold that thought at bottom. And they've got mind control, yeah they do. Jirax, he's being forced back by the sentry just in range to find him. Chessie, even though he's died twice, this double killer gets at this situation. And he's going to swing the lane pretty massively back into his favor. Now getting closer to that level 5 at the top, though, Diz is dead. The Winter Wyvern will be able to back himself up. But Repel, Purification, and Rocket Barrage, all enough to kill the Juggernaut. Yeah, the Repel in this team. As soon as the Juggernaut spin comes out and Wyvern decides to Arctic Burn, you just repel the target and take no damage whatsoever, no slows. Okay, charge towards mid, Jirax is here. Oh, the final hit oh, in actually doesn't no. come through. Jirax has the shuriken, and Fata's being slowed down by that little orb of venom. Turns back for the hits, has the clarity up and running. One more poison attack, doesn't even need it, as he just needs one auto, and he gets himself a double kill, and oh my goodness, three to six, Liquid are leading by three kills. And these lanes are going decently for them.
Oh wait, most certainly man, this bounty hunter he got two centuries in award in his inventory. He's cracked level four before four minutes. This is the classic definition of a squalling bounty hunter. He's doing so much work, now he's probably gonna secure a rune as well. Really, really good going for them. Even though Chessy's double kill is level five in farming, he's still a safe lane rune. No matter what, this slaughterer is gonna have a relatively easy time scaling. They just need to find a way to gank out uh, mid game. Yeah, the slaughter is leading in last set. Like a couple of these will be spidlings, of course. But Gyro and Viper. Three dire heroes up the top. The Shadow Fiend has been shut down pretty immensely at this point. He's resorting to getting into the jungle and farming himself through there. Oh my goodness. Well, Ziz will die to the purification from Kuroki, who now looks to chase down Z Freak. I'm just taking a, taking a look at Swindles. Uh, level four and a half, farming jungle. Vlad is leeching experience mid. But Jirax's bounty has been from lane to lane, just finding openings everywhere. And mind control? Blink Dagger probably going to be here by, what, 13, 14 minutes? If he continues at this rate, anyway. Mm -hmm. And Jirax is hunting. I think he spots out the courier here, but I get the snipe. Right over trees. He might find the SF, however. Uh, wondering where Swindles is. Like, where, where is he hiding? What's he up to? Because Vata goes in for Vlad. Omni Knight gets a kill on the Spirit Breaker up the top, but this is where we're looking. Swindles and Vlad, they're both corralled back behind the Tier 1. Winter Wyvern not going to die just yet with three stick charges. He should be okay to tango up, but Jirax wasn't in position to really capitalize on that movement from the Viper. <laughs> Very close call. Still, I would say Liquid's still winning over around the map. It's, if it's not just a kill at top, it's the fact that they have this vision advantage now. And look at this bounty hunter. He's, despite the Spear Breaker's presence on the map, he just zones targets from, the, from their own woods. Swills. He's so wary. He's been dived so heavily here. The charge is down in bottom lane, though, and Mind Control is in a little bit of trouble. He gets the cross on the chest, he, but with the charge connecting from Z Freak, he's gonna have to dive behind tier one for this. He needs a bash, he needs something. He's gonna get blocked by creeps a little bit and juked and jived behind the trees. Mind Control escapes while the brood dies on the back to Kuroki. And this Spirit Breaker will just about TP away. There's nothing to stun him, nothing to hold him in place. Complexity. These lanes, they're trying to, they're trying to counter aggression with aggression. It's just not working out for them. They're all, it almost seems like they're always ones. Oh, look at the top. Solo kill. I think this... No, he didn't even have ultimates. Looks like he went for a spin kill and it just didn't work out. Not enough damage against Barrage means that you're gonna die. Yeah, T-Tours galore. I, I don't know, man. When there's kills happening on every single lane, I don't know how I can catch every single one of them. I was gonna start, <laughs> I was gonna start like machine gunning my camera, pinging it across the map because... Liquid, they are definitely on point this time around. Chessy, Sol Ring, but nothing much else to call his owners. He's now going to be dive behind oh, the tower. There's man, Dustin, he's, he's got the amp damage on him. He can't move over the trees, and Mind Control's there with a crush. Kuroki doesn't even need mana for this. And you look at the Omni Knight, he has Arcane Boots and level 7. Yeah. That's 7 minutes. This is a, this is a total disaster for the early game of complexity. This, this Omni Knight playing, uh, I guess, 4 position. Sports. He's more farmed than... Every hero inside of complexity. Every hero. Hi. Well, mid Fata is going in for this one. Mind Control's got the amp. Fata's turned around on though with the Viper Strike out. Crush hits on Swindles. Down goes one and two. As Liquid are just clearing up every single lane. Radiance middle Where's Matu's Gyro? Back at base. Healing up. So farm wise, how are we actually looking here? Because it's just gold being pumped into Liquid at this point. Levels. Nothing really uh, too spectacular. There's a level 8 Viper, level 7 Omni Knight. But net worth, four heroes in the top four are all dire. As Mind Control will get taken out to trade off as Matu clearing up Ziz, but Vlad and Chessy both joining in to try and catch Matu. I'm just not sure it's going to work with the Brute Mother getting the webs down. The buyback from Slada will come in and Chessy, he's trapped under the rocket barrage for a ton of damage. But double rotation up and still getting a one for one trade off. Dyer's middle yeah, tower I mean, he did buy back and he hasn't gotten anything yet. He'd probably be able to amp some targets. If not, he's still alive and be able to do a little more work. So, not the end of the world for him to buy back like here. Track and the amp. Coming oh, Jirax in a ton of trouble. Spiraling spawn. Vlad is taken out. Mind Control has a crush in a couple of seconds' time. And he should be. Oh no, there's a level 6 Spirit Breaker on him. Crushes out. And with Kuroki Guardian Angel is up. So they're all pretty much immune. A Z Freak will drop. Chessy finally gets the final spawn. Spiraling's out. And Ziz, back behind the tier 1, and my Tumba Man, he's got Barrage, he's got Call Down, and Ziz has walked back into this fight, the Purification is dead, he'll match back up to full pretty much, and Ziz, the Blade Fury doesn't do enough, it's just...
constant commitment here from Complexity, and they just can't make enough of the trades. Dyer's bottom tower yeah, it's just, just too little at this point. Everything that they throw Radiant's in. We see Vlad just fall. keep now, but level 4 Winter Wyvern going up globally, Viper. This is a. Chessy got the track up. <laughs> He's down too. Dyer's They've got the charge coming in, and they missed the purification bomb. I should be able to take this kill, no, oh, unless the match has come through. Z the charge goes through them both. Shuriken bounces back onto Brood as the chase continues. Vata joins the fight with the purification again. Kuroki just keeps everyone up and running. He might lose his own life though, unless he repels himself. Blade Fury magical damage nullified by that repel. And Chessy, the Broodmother that's kind of meant to be on one lane dominating and keeping the game flowing for them. He's TPing around ganking as a brood. They'll kill off Kuroki here, but it's it's a, it's a support only knight. He is pretty high leveled up at level nine, which is almost insane. But the buyback from the Broodmother is just oh, so intense. Man. Matu Radiant's drops there. Big kills, man. They just had a uh, over a 1,000 gold, gold swing just flexi just now in like last 30 seconds. Buyback was probably worth it. I wouldn't say the game is back in their favor yet. It's still 9 to 18 outside of Liquid. Almost 3 kills per minute. And uh, the, yeah, the, there was actually a 7.5k gold lead for in my 10 minutes in this game. I mean, I don't know the stats, but I've never seen a 7.5k gold lead before. But as I say, that father's about to drop. Oh, purification and repel. He's gonna get Chris down and Chessie maybe with that ult up. Gonna find the hit. Z Freak will chase it though. A punch, two punches, he's getting fogged, he's not gonna find it, he needs another one in there! And Z Freak getting taken out by the mind control slaughter. Purifications galore, honestly, this Omni Knight is. It, it is the difference maker. This yeah. is the one keeping people alive as mid lane. TP's coming in, swindles, he's trapped in here, Jirax, he's gonna hate. Get some soft away, but Vlad will not be so lucky. Oh, and Ziz, Ziz he's walking spin. right by. Hello there, friend. He's got spin, but the right-click damage from Liquid is just way too much. Uh, Broodmother died at top, right? Yeah, Kuroki yeah, and Mind Control pairing up to find that one. Holy oh. crap! I mean, if you don't have a massive AoE spamming wave clearer against the Broodmother, all you have to do is just track Amp and kill them non-stop, I guess. And Swindles, looks like he might be... Oh, never mind, they're turning the aggression. Oh, they changed back onto Jirax. He cancels out another strike, but... Oh, taken out by the raids from Swindles. Now Fata, he's got his target in his sights. There's no stuns, but they should have enough damage to kill him off just before the TP completes. But Summer Man on this gyro came in at just the right time. And so, what, what is Swindles looking at right now? Treads Bottle Aquila. It's not as bad as I kind of expected. He's, he's one of four. But he still has, uh, you know, a satisfactory net worth, right? <laughs> He's definitely been getting some space uh, while all this engagement top area. Speaking of which, <laughs> doesn't stop Durka. <laughs> oh, a charge onto mind control. That's the first kill I've missed in the past four minutes, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm doing okay good, with man. this. Doing good. Ten to twenty-four at twelve minutes. Thirty-four yeah. kills. It's, it's honestly insane. Honestly, absolutely insane. Oh okay. my goodness. Okay, I, do I do I just do I just give up now? <laughs> this you know this is right. Okay, I'm gonna catch this on oh, the top. top. They're diving. Yes, I see. I see. I'm here. I'm here with the purification bomb of the crush. <laughs> Guardian Angel will keep my control alive under the tower. Well, the Winter's Curse is getting Z Freak out of dodge. The Vlad chase down. Hold uh, and brace. Hold the place to heal himself up. But Z Freak has no charge, and the rocket barrage from Matu. We'll secure that kill as Vlad is chased with the amp up on him. They've got perfect oh vision God. and the sprint crush. This makes it all so easy. Tier 1 tower will get dropped down here. As Jerax is looking for Swindles, hunting down the Shadow Fiend who just wants to safely, calmly farm his own jungle. Fortunately for him, there's no one to back up the bounty. He's just going to get harassed down here. Boss from Jerax. As I say that, no, he Jerax, is he going for a solo kill attempt here? Can can he do this? Oh, well, okay, well, my here. controls here. They definitely can. Only Slash is decent, but it's still level one. They might find the kill on the Jurax with that Lapier, and they will do so, but Matu, he launches the cooldown. Ziz has that healing ward down, but Microsoft focuses it, and Ziz, the rocket barrage, is just a little bit too much until stick charges and oh, the heal will get them the kill on the. And get a kill on Ziz, but bashes from Z Freak. One, two, now facing off against Fata's Viper, who's godlike at this point. Vlad, it's time to accept your fate. Oh. GG I mean, is called. Over, 13 minutes and 42 seconds. 
Liquid have qualified for the defense lands, and honestly, in some style. I, I apologize, guys, for missing like half of the kills in this game, but when three lanes are dying at the same time, Liquid just completely outplaying. Completely outplaying yeah. with uh, complexity. Liquid just doing it with a run out lineup, and might have been a byproduct of Spirit Breaker and a Bounty Hunter game getting picked in the, the same game, but man, can you call that? Bloody hell. Well, that leaves us in a position where we have Team Liquid up at the top.